I got it on camera. He, he called. He called you a fucking. I got it on camera. You should just walk away, ma'am. Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Come Back to Endless Uploads. Welcome to another episode of Camera and Freak Out. Today's show features some of the best public freak out videos caught on camera. Entitled Karen's totally losing their sh him or hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, so our next crazy Karen's get into a very heated confrontation at this drive through and that's when things got ugly really quick. So let's check out the full video and I'm going to need you guys to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on this crazy situation right here. Let's check it out. What the fuck is your problem? I knew you were saying you at me. Literally earlier at the stop, but you said the same thing. I walked about? back again to you? see if it was you. And it was. What are you talking about? So don't say you at strangers Bro, that you don't know. I don't fuck with you. That's for sure. You're short and ugly and balding. And guess who has flowers and who doesn't? That's why you're alone on Valentine's Day. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if y'all was trying to like make fun of us when we was walking in, but I am an imp important person in social media and you don't do that. I'm just gonna let y'all know. Oh. PTP? Um, Ain't no PTP, ma. You was trying to make fun and then y'all was laughing at us. Don't do that. Because that's not funny. I'm actually, if you would know who I am, I'm taking it very easy on y'all by me just standing here and letting y'all know. Because I do get crazy. But because I see that you're young and you don't know better, I'm just going to let you know, don't make fun of people like us. Because a different person can take it the wrong way. You get what I'm saying? And do something or hurt you, ma. You don't do that. Okay. At all. Okay? All right. And if you like watching these type of crazy videos all day, 24-7 like we do, make sure to hit that bell for notifications and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. So you do not miss out when we post new episodes. We appreciate every single person's support. You are now watching and let's up. I don't appreciate that. So my husband Well all due respect, is please um Hispanic. All right. Well with all due respect, please and have a nice day. Very hard. Please have a nice day. On this medical please have a nice day. Please medical awareness. Can you please have a nice day? Yes, I can. I got family over here be chilling. I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. That's Thank you. Idea. All right. <laughs> Mommy gets into a heated confrontation with a college professor. Let's jump right into it. We can do this all day. And I'll turn it up to 100. The next step is to strategize. Think about a plan to solve the problem. Create a conceptual plan. 
To calculate delta H reaction from standard enthalpy of formation, subtract the heats of formation of the reactants multiplied by their stoichiometric coefficient from the heats of formation of the products multiplied by their stoichiometric coefficient. Follow the conceptual plan to solve the problem. The standard enthalpies of formation for each reactant and product are shown here. Remember that the standard enthalpy of formation of pure elements in the standard state is zero. Calculate delta H reaction by substituting these values into the equation. Go ahead and try that now. What is delta H reaction? A. Do y'all really think I didn't have headphones? My class got canceled, so I found a study spot, and I didn't have them. I wasn't going back to my room when I had a class in 45 minutes. Anyway, y'all can stay mad, because this does not justify her being in my face harassing me. Man, fuck you, watch, watch. Calling me a nigga, what? You're my nigga, That's what you are, you fucking nigga. Come get it, bitch. Uh, you know where I live at. You know where I live. Come get some. All right, so our next crazy Karen gets into a very heated... All right, so our next crazy Karen gets into a very heated confrontation with employees at this Taco Bell, and it looks like it was almost time to whoop some ass. So let's check out the full clip, and I'm gonna need you guys to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on this crazy situation right here. Let's check it out. Don't do it, man. Look. You're on three, yummy. Customers going. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Uh, Are you calling the company? <laughs> Come on, it's not gonna fight. Awesome. Yeah, I don't even know why you're playing. No, stop. Hey, 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 hey. You no, need to go. Don't, don't, hey, don't, don't get in that. You, you, you need to go right now. My life. Look, They're hey. calling the police. Call, hey, hey bring the police up here to uh, Taco Bell on, on uh, what is this? Locust, Locust in Washington. After him up in my under face, he told me to go back to my country and raise his deceased victim. Okay, we do not need this here. We do not need this. Okay, this is America, bitch. Get the fuck out of my country and go back to where the fuck you came from. Bitch, I'm recording too, bitch. I'm recording. Go back. Hey, 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 don't touch my mind. Right. Yo, touch my mind. Get the fuck out of my daughter's face. You guys I'm recording, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna kill you. All right, so in this next clip, this guy calls out and confronts his door dasher for doing some weird stuff before delivering his food. So let's check out the full clip. And I'm going to definitely need you guys to let us know what's your thoughts on this situation right here. Let's check it out. All right, now I'm going to get on your garbage ass. I know you did not set the milkshakes down on the bumper and take a piss. Oh. And then gonna touch the same shit with the same hand. I'm oh, sorry, man. I should get on your mother. Give me, give me guy with that toilet. Give, give my refund. Where the refund at? Oh, seriously, I'm sorry about that. Dude, dude, dude. Oh. Like, dude, that's out of control. I should get on your garbage ass. Your tight shoe wearing ass. Your little hat wearing ass. Little okay. jacket ass nigga. I don't want to take it. You just pissed with your hands and you just touched it. I should get on your ass. Okay. Just walk away before I get on your ass. Fuck the milkshakes. Yeah. I don't want them. The little pants that nigga, the saggy pants that nigga, tight hat that nigga, big jacket that nigga. Let her know. Let her know. There's nowhere for me to go. We got There's you, mama. Mama. There's nowhere for me to go. Look, are we gonna do? There's nobody in front of me. Let her know. 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 Oh, 
All right, so when this next clip, this guy was just trying to do his job when this crazy Karen appeared out of nowhere to try to make his life extremely stressful. But lucky for him, Karen got exactly what he deserves. So let's check out the full video. And I would definitely need you guys to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on this crazy situation right here. And if you like watching these type of crazy videos all day, 24 seven, ass whoopings, crazy Karens, whole lot of crazy stuff, make sure to hit that bell for notifications and subscribe to this channel so you do not miss out when we post new episodes. It's endless upload. This 37 year old white guy from the UK was harassing me while I was doing my grave shift at Berkeley Park Hotel in South Beach. It's sad he had came back from clubbing with his girlfriend or something and he saw me decided to harass me that night. He came back for a second time. Cause somebody like me, I'm not gonna call the cops for somebody like you. That's why you have security here. Caribbean country that shares Go the home. of Hispaniola Go with home. Immigrant politics to the east to its east. Go home. So, Haiti, so your country, go to your, room. So your country shares to your its room. island. If you don't go, bro, if so you don't go to your room, there's gonna the be problems. Island. With the He's talking about my country and there's some parts I'm not gonna put in this video because he was just saying racial slurs at this point. I decided to call the cops cause if they didn't deal with this man, he was going to fuck around and find out. The thing is like, I could just, I could just end you right now. You just walked away, but he chooses to harass me the whole time. After I had called the cops three times because they didn't respond the first time I called them, he wants to play victim and call the cops also lol. So this is the best part watch as he leaves mind you this man has been harassing me for two hours, throwing snacks at me, calling me racial slurs, making noise in a hotel and I already had called the cops and he had called the cops also, just watch. Third time he came to my desk to threaten me, this is why I don't like the agenda of the South Beach police cause they care more about giving people tickets, than actually helping people. There are some good cops in South Beach, but the ones that I had don't called me. clearly Marco. didn't care. Don't touch me. Yeah, I'm recording. You're behind my bro, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Back up. You see how you got behind? Bro, you're done. Just that video alone. Bro, leave me alone. Back up. Back up. Don't touch my phone. Don't touch my phone. Don't touch my phone. Before. The cops are... Fuck around and find out. <sighs> and that boy's sleep. All right, so in his next clip, this guy gets into a very heated confrontation with management at his job, and that's when things are ugly really quick so let's check out the full video and i'm gonna need you guys to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on this crazy situation right here let's check it out i asked you how many Bro, times to leave this is the thing how right? many times did i ask why are you, you yelling if i'm talking to another I, superior because i'm telling you what i'm telling you all right You're and i'm explaining what happened I'm to you that i'm not cleaning up after did you i say anything I, about lying you said no you didn't Bruh, no did you i didn't. say anything I'm about you lying you to leave right now this time is the time that you're gonna be clocked out at Okay? Listen, bro. Come on. Listen. Look. She pointed right here, right? Let me just elaborate. No, come because on. Because I'm, I'm an elaborative person, right? I came here to work. So, boom. But you coming to me? So bro, shut up. I'm not talking to you no hey, more. Hey, hey, hey. Bro, she's hey, being mad disrespectful, bro. I feel it, G. No, she's being mad disrespectful. I feel you. No, but no, 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 no. Hey, hey, homie. No, at the end of the day, mad I, disrespectful. I get it. She, you, you don't get it, bro. She I'm was here. talking shit to another Just employee me. in the elevator saying, no, I don't no, fucking no, like that guy. No. You feel me? Say, I don't fucking like that guy, bro. And then she, Erica, Erica, I got it. And then she shut the elevator down in his face, bro. I don't give a fuck about you, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm telling you the truth. For real, G, just stop. I hear you. So why is she walking us down? I hear you. Wait, it is my fiance, bro. All right. So, so, so what's the point then? What's the problem? If I'm telling you the truth and that's because that's because of your fiance. 
But no, it's not even that, G. It right. says you just told my woman to shut up. That's disrespectful. Bro, because she's been been disrespectful before you came, bro. You feel me? She's like, oh no, shut up. I don't want to talk to you no more. I'm not clocking you out. Bro, she literally told me she pointed over there at the quarter. So I swept up everything and now I'm looking for her. I go to, to B20 and she's not there. I come back, she has my stuff in her hand, right? So I was like, oh, I was just looking for you. Oh no, you wasn't looking for me. You you not even finished the work. I said, that's what I was doing, looking for you to tell you that I finished. She's like, no, you're supposed to sweep this, that, and the third. So I'm like, bro, that's not what you told me, right? So she was like, oh, just. Get away Just from me, please. Don't touch her. Get away from her. Get away from her. Get away from her. You're chastising her. Back up. Get away from her. Get away from her. You are You're chastising her. No, Back up. Are. Get out of my face. Back up. Uh, okay. You are rude. And you are rude. Back up. You are very rude. No. And get out of my face. No, I'm not. I punch you in it. No, I'm not. Don't fuck about. You are rude. Please stay away from her. Stay away from me. You are a very rude woman. We're trying to get the cold. Sure. You are rude. You're drunk and inebriated. No, I'm not drunk. Yes, you are. No, I'm not drunk. I'm 60 years old. I jumped four million miles around the world. You are rude. You are. You got a problem. You are rude too. Very rude too. I can do it too. You bloody f. Uh, so this next guy gets into a very heated confrontation with these McDonald's employees, all because they told him that they were closed. So let's check out the full clip. You guys make sure to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on this crazy situation right here. Let's check it out. You and why the fuck do you think you can say that you're closed at 11:55 and you got no food left? Yeah, I got you on camera. How are you doing? Our, our, our girl, our our you guys are special off. as fuck. Yeah, let me talk to your manager. Okay, you can. Johnny, Johnny, he said we special as fuck. He's recording. Yeah. He would like. To I don't be know recording. why he recorded me for like. Hi, camera. Hello. I can record you too. Hello. How's it going? I just pulled up at 11.55 trying to get some Big Macs and you guys say you ain't nothing. got no food left? Yeah. You record me, so I'm gonna record you. There's nothing we can do about it. Like, you record me, so I'm gonna record you. Uh, we closed. How's it going, man? Uh, I just pulled up and uh, your uh, employees right here just told me that they ain't got no food left for yeah, a, couple of big, a couple of Big Macs. We don't have that. We don't have nothing. All our food is done for them. Uh, that's great. That's great. No, it's cool. And it's, it's cool for oh, them to talk to me that way? I you were disrespectful. We're telling you that you're called as I was disrespectful to you? You as fuck and you call me a bitch. Hey, what? You're, okay, so... Because I can do that. You can't do that. And I'm recording no, you. No, no, you can't. I'm recording I'm you. you okay, we'll do it. I can play the same game. The same game. You're not even supposed to be behind my house stand. You shouldn't be behind my house stand. That's why you're being recorded. That's why you're getting recorded. I'm going to put a look on y'all. So this next cashier was just trying to do her job when this crazy guy walked in and try to make her life extremely stressful. So let's check out the full video. And I would definitely need you guys to let us know in the comments, what would you do if you was in this situation right here? And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications and subscribe to our channel if you like seeing crazy videos like this one. You are now watching Endless Uploads. The mall's closed, sir. Yo, our uh, store's yo, yo. closed. Watch your mouth, man. Watch your mouth, you're a woman. And? Stay in your place. And? Stay in your I'm place. I'm the manager here. And I'm you can be, I don't manager. care if you're the manager. The okay. point is, you can't talk. See, the only reason you could talk to me like that is I, 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 I can't hit you. Because if he okay. said that, his teeth will be on the floor. Okay, then That's I'll be you assault know. and I'll call That's the cops. 
You can only talk like that because you're a woman. Chill out. And? You not this. You don't get the point, do you? Well, you're not. I don't care if you're the manager. Like I don't that. care. Okay. All right. I don't give so a fuck just... if you're the manager. Okay. So if you're not buying anything, and I don't have to buy anything. What the okay. fuck are you saying? Okay. Shut the fuck up, yo. No, I'm not gonna shut the fuck up. You could leave. Make me leave. No. I'm not exactly, because you. you can't physically do anything about it. That's why you need to be quiet. <laughs> it's fine. I'll just Stupid. hold the fence. All right. You fucking dumb. Y'all running, y'all running. Welcome. The whole mall looks closed. Everybody reach it. You, you are not going to neutralize anything. This is real shit. You don't fucking know. Yes. A91, the metal. A91, the metal. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I got to shout at you like, as a woman. You a woman. Don't, don't, don't do that. Okay. And man would know. He's a man, so he's not talking. All right. Because he knows I'll slap the shit out of him, so he's not saying anything. But you're a woman, so you got a lot of lip. Lock the door, lock the door, lock the door, lock the door. <laughs> I'm, I, I mean, like, you're gonna have to go. I mean, listen, I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm standing right here. Tell them to tell them to move around over there. Why don't they push in and so other people can come in on that side? There's no fucking room. And you're pushing me. Uh, so our next video, Karen's get into a very heated confrontation after the club, and it looks like it was almost time to whoop some ass. Let's check it out. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Here we go. Knife in you. Here we go. All right. Uh uh. Now the police call you now. Oh. Uh oh. -uh. Uh-uh. What happened? Oh, she... Uh-uh. 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 The cut hit the floor. Here we go. Uh-uh. Look at the teeth of life. Uh-uh. All right. You straight. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Oh, baby, what's happening tonight? You look like a duck. Uh -uh. You look like a duck. Yes, you did. Let me get her birds. I just don't want. Let me let y'all get a little piece of her too. All right. Life in you. <laughs> Ow, all right. Here go the boys in blue. I'm trying to party with you. Here he go, y'all. This is the one right here. I've been telling y'all about. I'm on the 3D. Whoever doing the hiring Ella there. Uh-uh. Took her hair off. Uh -uh. No, she did. No, she did. All right, boys. Uh-uh. Let me come over here, baby, so y'all can get a good... Ooh! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Y'all break it up now. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Put them claws back in. Don't do that. It's not even 1 a.m. yet. Y'all carry me in. Uh, well, it's knifing you. Y'all got to get into these officers. Whoever doing the hiring in D.C., I'm on to them. That chocolate motherfucker right there. Okay. Took her, her bangles off or something. Ow. Oh. That's her bangles. That was her belt. <laughs> Karen in Tim Hortons is mad because the staff is Indian and I was walking into the store. She blowed on me because the customers are also Indians. What's the fact? The fact is that they're all Indians. Stop being racist. Why did they, they all get jobs and why did they? Because you guys don't work. That's why we get the jobs. What? Say that again. 
Yeah, now you won't understand anything. Why are you being racist? I'm not racist. You're you are rude and mountain. entitled, but that is not the way you approach somebody. Can now, please, please, I told you, after you bring rude and disrespectful, you can leave. Do you have some hand sanitizer? You can leave. Me? You can leave. You are not entitled to act like that and expect customer service. You can leave. I've asked you several times on camera. Please go. So our next crazy Karen has an epic meltdown at this bank. Let's jump right into it. Yeah, I do. It's a bank. I mean, I came here first. You have to wait. Oh my God. How selfish can you be? How selfish can you be, sir? Next crazy Karen showed up to her neighbor's front doorstep to complain about her three-year-old daughter. Yeah, you can't make this up, guys. But anyway, let's check out the full video. You guys, make sure to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on this crazy situation right here. Let's check it out. This one, moment. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hey, this World War II veteran turned 100 years old. Many people in his city had a parade drive by his house showing their appreciation for him, including his next door neighbor and his friend who are also in the military. They drove by and saluted him as they passed, and then after came up to him to shake his hand, thanking him for his service, and he couldn't stop smiling. Today's show, I want to thank every single person for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, more Karens.